the scene changes to a building which is in no danger of being knocked down for a long time to come, mainly because it's concerned with a subject which is dear to the hearts of every Englishman. Yes, that's right, the weather. This, then, is a sort of mecca for the weather-wise, a place immortalized by countless broadcasts, the subject of innumerable jokes, but still a center of very real interest to farmers, sailors, and airmen up, down, and around the country. In short, the Air Ministry roof. After the temperature and humidity have been taken, the rain gauge is examined. The information is kept right up to date, and for on-the-spot forecasts, the experts can be questioned personally in the weather shop we showed you earlier at ground level. This is a serious public service, and if you just wanted to drop in and natter about the weather for lack of anything better to do, we should warn you that you're quite liable to encounter a cold front, tinged possibly with a few degrees of frost. Here, the light intensity meter and a crystal ball, which records the amount of sunlight, but deals strictly with the present, are examined and results noted. It is expected that this new service will ease the burden on the forecasting office and the GPO's automatic weather telephone service, who together deal with well over three million calls annually from the London area alone. The radar is just one of the many scientific advances which are putting the seaweed, fur cone and bunion type of forecaster right out in the cold. <laughs> 